Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And it's Transformers Week, and today we got a figure of Megatron that's a non-transforming figure we got for clearance for this much money. 50 cents at Dollar Tree. So this was a clearance figure. It's all the other figures they make. They got Optimus, Bumblebee, Sound, Soundwave, and Starscream. But only got Megatron because, hey, he's Megatron. Never had too many Megatrons in my collection. And now we're going to open this guy up and pull him out of the packaging. Come on, Megs. Come on, Megs. Come on, Megatron. Or Megs. Emgo calls them Megs a lot. Come on. Let go. Get him out of the packaging. Ah, there we go. And this is a good-looking Megatron, if I do say so myself. The paint apps on the face could have been a bit better, but the body and the fusion cannon is so... Transformers Generation 180's Megatron, for sure. That is just so cool. Just look at how well sculpted he's painted, and how detailed this little figure is. Doesn't have any articulation, though, but he's based on the gun Megatron from Generation 1. Why not? I don't have a masterpiece of this figure, but this figure is based on the 1980s. 80s Megatron. That's why I picked him up. Because he's that cool looking. And I got him for a clearance price. What's better than clearance figures by any standard, huh? He is definitely going on my shelf for sure. Megatron is that hardcore and bad to the bone. And is a Megatron worth this Megatron for 50 cents we got from the Transformers More Than Meets the Eye tiny figures worth adding to your collection. Yes, if you're a Transformer collector and you love this stuff as much as I do, you never go wrong with Megatron. And that's all there is to say for this review. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.